and the new set of ratchet straps. What's that? that close enough? Yeah, yeah, you're good there. We bought the whole set of ratchet straps. <laughs> times, times 12. Oh my, yes. I did crank. I cranked all these straps a couple, well, a couple times. <laughs> I was pushing on it when we were loading it and the cab was doing this. Oh, uh, so the front's probably bolted down. Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and we are back from our Colorado to Milwaukee to Ohio to Pennsylvania adventure, week long picking adventure. Mike and I went on, we, uh, as you guys may remember, we flew into Colorado, bought that crazy old parts collection. Uh, we went to La Crosse, Wisconsin to buy a whole bunch of early V8 stuff, Ford V8 stuff, then Milwaukee to buy a bunch of Model A stuff, and finally hit the Canfield spot meet and bought a couple little goodies to try and fill in a little bit of leftover space in the box truck. So we got everything here. We finally got to use Big Red. Um, we drove this over, Steve and I drove this over. It's made, kind of maiden voyage out of my little town and it actually did fantastic with some of the repairs we did. So we're gonna be using this truck to take some of the keeper stuff and put it in. We're gonna bring this cab into the truck, uh, into the warehouse and get everything unloaded as we always do. And then at the end of the video, stick around. Uh, we're gonna show you guys some of the highlights that we got um, from all of the picks that we did. It should be pretty fun. It's gonna be like Christmas morning all over again. So let's get working. <laughs>
So we got everything unloaded, many, many trips out of the truck, up the elevator, in here, and then unloaded all again. And uh, we finally have everything kind of out and sort of organized. We're just, we, didn't, we didn't unload everything because it would, it would take like another two hours in the video to show you everything we got. So we're just gonna show you some highlights, kind of have it laid out. Um, so we got a bunch of extra transmissions. We thought they were B&Ms, but they're actually these slant pan hydro stick or whatever they're called. Um, transmissions, this one that's all painted up was actually one that was in uh, Lonnie's car and then he, when he put the crazier engine in, he got a built one um, that he put in that was like foolproof or whatever. Uh, that is a, what's the head numbers on it? It's I a think, 370. I think we think it's a three, uh, 23 heads. I don't even know, that might be 394. Oh yeah, that might be big. Um, so this is a, I'm gonna guess it's a 394 complete engine, basically a long block. Um, and we don't know anything about it. It was just there. It had those Edelbrock valve covers bolted on. Seems to be, appears to just be a stock engine. So we don't know much otherwise. Um, another block. This okay. is missing a piston and has a big hole in one of them. <laughs> I think it's... So it was a core. Yeah. Oh, this one here. Yeah. It's a core. So this was just stuff that came along. This one's pretty cool. This was the engine that I believe Lonnie was having built. Um, he was waiting for Ross Racing, and I think he got a little impatient or didn't hear back from them. So he started building up another engine with a different engine builder. So this is a block, set of number 10 heads, all redone, and you know, basically fresh back from the machine shop, just not assembled. There is a crank that is turned that was standing with it, so we're gonna have to stand this up next to the engine once we move everything. And we found pistons and a bunch of other parts. Like that. We think that there's basically everything, quote unquote, put this back together. So that's one that's going on the keeper pile for a rainy day to uh, put together. That might be a Stromberg Steve project when he gets, when we run out of stuff for him to do one day, he'll work on that. So 
Trans parts, extra stuff, nothing too exciting. Definitely on my foot. <laughs> ah. All right. Definitely staying in the video. So over here, Lonnie had bought these big tires. We don't know if he was running them on the car. He had them as extras. These are pretty cool because they're old Firestone. Um, I believe he had Firestones on the car as well. Yeah, so these are like dirt tires. Uh, set of Hoosier Street Pro Street tires. This is stuff that we're going to be selling. We just the family didn't know what to do with it. They wanted the garage cleaned out. They were essentially going to probably throw it away if they couldn't find anybody to take it. So we took it. We'll be selling these. There's a new set of tubes in here with it. Um, over here is just miscellaneous engine parts. We didn't go through a lot of this stuff. It's just it's in there. Adjustable push rods and chrome breathers, all kinds of stuff that's looped in here. These are all spacers for the chrome breathers on the valve covers, extras, and you never know what you're gonna find in there. Uh, I notice everything's like chromed or polished, even the extra parts. Um, set of 18 heads, I don't remember, I'm not that good with old stuff off the top of my head. If that's, I think that might be 394, could be 371, don't know. Um, but set of later heads that are floating around, they might have been off of this block that's over here. Bunch of drive shafts, extra block, another 50 olds or um, old stick shift uh, bell housing. There is in this crate, we still didn't open it up. I don't think Wani ever opened it. It is a uh, side shift or column shift, LaSalle transmission with a floor shifter in it, all redone from a trans shop that he bought uh, off of eBay. This is something he was talking to me about the last time we talked. And, he bought it, and I think he thought it was a 37 LaSalle and didn't realize that it was a, a column shift. That's in there. Eventually that'll be sold as well. A little chrome tiny drive shaft that was probably off his car at some point. We showed a bunch of these headers here. I'm gonna probably hold on to these, but these are a set of headers that somebody put the squared around. Not quite sure yet if I'm gonna use them or not. Header department. Uh, Model A stuff is our Model A department. So. We offloaded the, as you guys saw in the video, we offloaded the complete pickup. Um, this is the extra cab. We do have a gas tank for it. We have a spare bed already. So we're gonna be piecing this together, kind of like that Model A two-door we did, and offer for sale basically like a complete truck or a builder project for somebody. So if you wanna get into a reasonable Model A project, the 2829 pickup will be kind of giving, you know, the frame the bed, the cab, and a couple other parts that somebody can get building. So if you're interested in that, that will be for sale as well. As much as I want to keep it, we got to sell some stuff. Model A parts, hoods, all kinds of stuff, grills, basically all of this stuff is going to get That sold. is an extra pickup uh, oh, yeah. cowl assembly. Another 2829 pickup cowl, which is pretty <clears throat> cool. Um, yeah, there's, there's just stuff everywhere. There's a bunch of stuff that was already blasted, cleaned, and primed or already painted. So some of that stuff, we have a local, the Lehigh Valley Model A Club has a really good uh, Model A show or early, early Ford show in the spring every year. Swap meet's usually pretty cool. A lot of times I set all this stuff back and then at the Model A meet, we bring it out and get it out to restorers and hot rodders and whoever, uh, get all that stuff out in one shot. So anyways, grills, this is our grill department. So we have a 36 grill, we have a 235 grills. One's decent, this one's Kind of banged up, but could be used for a patina car, a rat rod, whatever you want to call it. Um, these are 38 9 yes. truck grills uh, mm -hmm. that have the, the horse collar band with them. Both of those, those, that stuff will probably be going to Carlisle and Hershey uh, if it doesn't sell before, but probably will be going to Carlisle and Hershey. That's always good stuff to have. We found this at the swap meet in Canfield, which is super cool. I didn't know what it was at the time when we found it. I just knew that we have a rule with banjo steering wheels that if it's under, it, you, the rule used to be, it's kind of outdated now. My rule <laughs> since I've been doing this is if it's, a, if it's a banjo wheel and it's $50 or less, you buy it even if you don't know what it is because it's usually worth more than $50. That rule has changed over the years. It's almost impossible to find a banjo wheel for $50 or less. That's not falling apart yeah, or broken. It's literally not like total crap. So this one, um, was just a little over $50. And this is, I didn't know what it was. These were throwing me off. I thought it was like a fancy boat. Turns out, after doing some research on our long drive home, this is, uh, I think, 3940 uh, Cad LaSalle. Either way, it's Cad LaSalle. And this is specifically LaSalle because of this emblem in the center. There's supposed to be a horn ring that goes in these three holes. Um, the horn ring must have broken. They just put these decorative pieces. But it's been restored at some point, but it's in really nice shape. So this will be for sale. 
Super cool Pepsi cooler. I got this at the Canfield swap meet. Um, and this, I think, will be for sale. At least one of them. I already have one, so I may pick which one's better and <laughs> keep one. So again, Carlisle type, Hershey type pieces that will be there. I found these in the back of the barn. Um, in lacrosse. In lacrosse. And it's funny, the beer company is from lacrosse. So they were like, they were just like sitting against the wall, like behind a bunch of stuff. And I, you know, literally the it was the tin side showing and you always, you see something that looks like it might be a sign, even if it's blank, you can pull it out. And they were beer signs. So I thought maybe I was on Mike's uh, best friend list because I got pulled some beer signs, but he's not that, he doesn't collect these. So these, nope. um, we may keep one, but we'll probably get rid of them, bring them to the show. Uh, wheel department, we have a, we're always getting 16 inch wheel collect, uh, requests from people. We can't even keep them in stock. So we got a bunch of 16 inch wheels. We're gonna go through and make some sets and then sell them um, at the show. Bunch of wide fives, same I deal. I believe there's a set of V8 60 wide fives in there that we'll probably bring yeah, we'll to the probably show. Yeah, we'll probably sell the, the V8 60 wheels are three and a half inches wide instead of four. They are very desirable for hot rodders for the front. So we usually sell them in pairs so that people can run them in the front. And if the hot setup is to get a five inch truck wide five in the rear, um, but a lot of people like the three and a half. So we'll be bringing those to um, Carlisle and Hershey or if somebody wants a pair, there is some nice ones in there. Uh, there is some bud wheels from Model A that we got, two of them there. Um, let's see, Buick drums. Oh, yeah. We got some thin Buick drums. Those are always good. Model A wheels, which are just whatever. Uh, <laughs> Go back to the good wheels. Yeah, we got some aluminum Halibrand. Um, as you can see, these are modern, you know, Halibrands, but they're good. I think he was running them in like this 70s or 80s. We saw these on Lonnie's car, we think, back in the 70s or 80s before he changed it up. These are older, like 80s type, like Vertistein tires. So we will be selling these. Um, there's even the lug nuts and everything with them. Uh, these are, we showed these in the first video, there's a set of magnesium halibrands um, that are in pretty good shape. They were just, like we mentioned, somebody had smoothed them to start polishing them and never finished it. So that might have been something Lonnie was doing and then it takes a long, long time to polish and clean these, or polish and smooth them. So those, probably going to sell them. I have to have a little soul searching on those phones. They'll be for sale. <laughs> Mike said they're for sale. So, early V8 stuff, that's this department. Now there's a little bit in the back to see some transmission that's left over from... And the table behind you. And the table behind you. still some stuff from Seattle and that trip that Mike's still going through. So, oh my God. 3536 windshields. So many. <laughs> and headlights. And headlights, we got a bunch. Um, yeah, a ton of headlights, we have some some coffee can or bins back there that have the parts to put the headlights together. So we'll be putting sets together um, and then selling, you know, we'll sell all the headlight stands and brackets separately. So you can put a car together if you need that stuff. There's tailgates. There's a, I think that might be 37 to nine uh, Ford V8 tailgate, original one. There's uh, the inner fenders, front inner fenders there, fender extensions. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff, et cetera, et cetera. These are pretty cool. We found these uh, in lacrosse. There's a set of four. These are K.R. Wilson risers. I think we showed them. I found a set in Florida that were for V860. I don't know if these are probably also V860. Most of the ones I've seen are. But these are risers so you could adjust the uh, valves or shim, shim them so that you could uh, set your valve lash. So. These are factory Carol Wilson tool. They're pretty desirable just for collectability. So that's what these are. We only got one 3536 dash, believe it or not, with all this stuff we got. Um, that was the only one we got. We got a set of 21 stud factory aluminum heads, which are pretty cool. If you're running a 37 only and engine. I know, I know someone that is. Yeah, yeah. So they might be, Mike might already claim those, but. Possibly. <laughs> 21 stud aluminum heads. Factory heads, which are cool. Um, chatter rods, pedals. Uh, yeah. Front fenders, rear fenders. Oh, there's F1 pedals we got at Canfield. Oh, yeah. Those are getting kind of hard to find. Uh, front fenders. We got some 30 right here. I believe these are, maybe even that set there is yes. as well. 37 to 9 uh, front and rear fenders. 
and you can see at some point somebody paid two hundred dollars for that pair. That's a complete front set, and those two rears are the same That's a, side. Oh, the, those two are the same side two as well. Front side are the same side. So we have some of these. If you're building a pickup truck, we're gonna try and get that stuff out in the world and get it used again. Uh, Thirty-six hood that is complete. But there was a bunch more hood stuff at that estate, but we just kind of we were running out of time. Oh, really nice set of thirty-six running boards. Thirty-five-six. Some rear fenders. Thirty-five-six. Uh, Model A stuff that we didn't even unpack, we ran out of time. This is from the Model A state. There's just like headlights galore, 20, 29, 30, 31. License plates and horn stuff. Yeah, Model A smalls. This is more just Model A stuff. There's just all small stuff that. Let's walk around the other side of the table. Yeah, we'll show you guys the cool. The good stuff. Oh. Oh, and Mike's stack of hubcaps and trim rings that he insisted on buying. So if you need Wi Fi hubcaps, we. Cornered the market. We got all. All right, into some of the fun stuff. So, whew, that's a lot of crap. So there's a bunch of, a couple stock intakes. We have a J2 intake and a stock four barrel intake down there. Um, some people prefer them if you're building something that's either, you know, an upgrade your actual Oldsmobile, the better intake or whatever. There they are, cast iron, obviously for sale. Uh, this one I think is small block. I believe so. Not sure, but this is, so he had like three of these Spalding distributors. I think this one might have been the parts one. I'm not sure. There's a third one. It's in the box. It's totally in pieces. This is Olds. There's a spare gear in there to put that on. Uh, Mallory for an Olds, which is pretty cool. A couple of Vertex brown caps. They're always good if you're doing the color of the cap. This one's chipped, unfortunately, but uh, the color of the cap kind of is, you can tell the year that the, the uh, mag was made. So, uh, or, or it was originally put on the car. So some people prefer the early brown and light brown, dark brown, light brown ones. So anyways, uh, brand new Offenhauser 6.2 and um, later and valve covers. Later valve covers. I don't know if we checked these to see which <clears throat> engine these are for. Um, but anyways, they might be for the- Well, it shouldn't yeah. matter because you just changed the oh, yeah. hose length, right? Yeah. So these are old 6.2 Offenhauser uh, later valve covers for 371, 394. So we literally have so many intakes and crap we started stacking them. So there was there's three of them. There's these three three the of these here. They're all 303, 324. Um, YN two four intakes. This one has the uh, the dual quads right on it still with the linkage. Uh, this one was polished, so he may have been running that one at some point. Uh, there is a dual quad uh, top for a blower. Another piece here, riser. Adjustable push rods. We have a Wyan uh, 3.2. I think this is early as well. Early as well. This one's also early. Edelbrock 3.2. Um, adjustable rockers. There's just like a bunch of them. Set of Edelbrock. These were on that that one engine. It was sitting over the over there. 371, 394 Edelbrock valve covers, which is pretty cool. Set of Wyan uh, 303, 324. These also neat fact on these. Wyan made them for Studebaker or Olds because they were physically the same size. It's just that the uh, bolt holes were different. So this one was drilled obviously for Olds. Those are sold also, by the way, I believe. Yeah, I think those are spoken for already. Um, this is ridiculous. Uh, we've heard rumors. I read some stuff on the ham that through Garlitz apparently, there were some rumors that they only made like 10 of these or some small number of these, maybe in single digits of these. 671, 82, blower top. Um, super cool. Lonnie had this on the car uh, in one of his last iterations. Uh, I'd love to keep it, but I'm probably going to sell it. I want it to go to you know somebody that's like redoing a famous old drag car or old hot rod or something that had this on it. This would be the key piece. I mean, this is like the cookie T needing the rotophase distributor. Like that's one of the key parts. So I'm really big on that. Like if somebody is building a car that has proof that this is supposed to go on it, I would like it to go to a car like that or a drag car, show car, whatever. So Chrome 6.2, uh, this was on, we showed this in the video. This was on Lonnie's car in one of the early iterations uh, with the Chrome crossover. These stay together. This will be for sale. Uh, 471, six carb. This might've been on my engine at some point. He probably was running 6.2. Oh, it's twos. true, because he went to all Craig or stuff. Yeah, so he's probably running 6.2 at some point. I'm probably going to sell this because I like the 4.2s. I just think it's a little easier for me. So <laughs> I'm run that. We found like a bunch of this cog belt setup for blower drive stuff, which is cool. Another set of Offenhauser 303, 324 valve covers. These brand new breathe, uh, 
filters that I think are for dual quads. Um, blower intakes, <laughs> my goodness. So there is two, these are both 303, 324. This we believe was on the engine with probably this 471 top. And, or no, I'm sorry, this is 671, so this was not. Oh yeah. But this has the Wyan Bluff uh, pop valve cover on the back, which is just ridiculous. Because it's polished and painted red, this was probably on the car at some point in its life. There is two of them here. One is polished, one is not, but these are both 303, 324. I am gonna, it hurts me. I am gonna be selling these, I'm keeping the engine, so I, I, And there is one 371, 394. I've had a bunch of DMs from people and messages and emails, people that were looking for uh, blower intakes, specifically 371, 394. We're gonna go down the list and see who asked us first and then, and then contact them and go down the line. Um, that would be all, of course, for sale. One set of these angle valve cover, or I'm sorry, ISKI or factory dimple valve covers. Gotta go down the list and see who was first on those. Asking, wheel cap, starter changeover, fuel block department, which is just ridiculous. I think I skimmed just one fuel block out of there for myself. And it was a two. Oh no, two, I grabbed the moon. He had two. Oh, that's right. He had two. Four block, four outlet moons that he probably had when he had eight twos on it at some point. So that, um, yeah, ton of those. This cool Kreger wheel. These are kind of rare with the slots in it and the holes. Uh, banjo steering wheels. You forgot the cam department. Oh my below. god, cam department. You gotta with... show them the roller rockers. Oh yeah, Jesus. So there is somewhere in here a crazy roller rocker cam. And there's the, you know, you can see the, roll, the lifters down there, but these are all brand new. Re I think you have these redone. And these are like a racer brown cam, right? I believe so, with all roller rocker stuff. Craziness. So we have all of that. That's probably going to be for sale because it's ridiculous. <laughs> Over the top. <laughs> Over the top. I don't need all that. Um, Back to early Ford parts. Early Ford parts again. So we, got a, we found a bunch of gauges. Um, this stuff was all just leftovers from the people that were the, the place in lacrosse. They were restoring these vehicles, and they, these are leftovers they had. Um, we got some of these. These are cool. These are uh, e-brake extensions. It was like a factory accessory on early Fords that this puts on the end of your, your emergency brake handle and then raises it up so it's easier to grab, and it folds down. So these are always neat. This one, I think, is an aftermarket accessory one. Actually, it says on it. I never noticed that. Motor lever. So yes, this was an accessory one to put on. Has this cool little handle. So this will be all neat little stuff we bring to Hershey and Carlisle that everybody likes to buy. Hers uh, a Chevy part, which is unusual. We found that in Lacrosse. Uh, it's like a, I think 30s, late 30s Chevy. Yeah. Uh, hood piece. Some scoops. We got this cool Fat Man steering wheel, which we showed it. That was in uh, Milwaukee. That's a fold down. Um, Scoops. Yeah. Scoop department, really neat. Early clock. I think that's everything. Did we show this? Yes. Yeah, we showed all that. So that is like a really quick blow through of all the stuff that we got. There's actually a lot more stuff that we didn't show totally. This box is a stuff like we kind of showed you over there. It was a crazy trip. It's like literally three, four days before we need to be packed. Three days before we need to be packed for Carlisle. Hershey and Trog. So we're not going to really get to be going through all of this. As always, if there's something you see in the video that you're interested in, you could send us a DM on Instagram, Iron Trap Finds, F-I-N-D-S, or you could send us an email, uh, irontrapgarage at gmail.com. We will do our best to get back to you, but do realize that if it's something if that we can't get to before Hershey or Carlisle, in-person purchases always go first. So if you're coming to Car Hershey or Carlisle and you want to part, uh, definitely that's the best bet. We're going to answer those people first and then after we get back, we'll get back with everybody else. So thank you for following along and uh, now we got to get the blower engine and all the crap that I took home and skimmed off the top for myself. We got to get all that home, get it loaded, um, get to drive the big truck in the rain for the first time. Of course it's raining. It always rains when we unload, but good fun. Thank you guys. Um, our Carlisle and Hershey spaces, we're going to drop below right here at the end of the video. If you want to come to Carlisle or Hershey, definitely you can check us at those spots there. And we will be there with a bunch of this junk. Come by, say hello. Thanks guys. Catch you later.